And while people are struggling to pay rent, they are also struggling to pay for basic utilities like water. The Elmira Water Board has been dealing with the byproducts of the eviction moratorium, which has now been extended. Our 18 News reporter Kevin Gefeller has more. Earlier this month, Governor Kathy Hochul signed a new moratorium on COVID-related residential and commercial evictions into law. This moratorium is now extended through January 15th of 2022. Locally, the Elmira Water Board has been dealing with the byproduct, unpaid bills. One of the issues that causes, uh, if landlords aren't getting paid either, some of them that would pay the utilities or whatever aren't, aren't doing that, and we have the 800 accounts represented a couple hundred thousand dollars in excess of a couple hundred thousand dollars in bills that weren't paid, which, which can ultimately affect our operations. LaDuce said most of that $100,000 will be collected, but if the moratorium is extended again come the new year, it could cause more issues. Could ultimately affect some operations if this gets extended again, and they, they do need some help. There, are, there is help available through a, through a number of avenues. And we, we don't administer the money that the state makes available for paying back rent and back bills. The, the tenant or the landlord would have to look into that. Um, but, in, you know, a lot, a lot of people were hurting as a result of the pandemic. And while he feels for other people's situations, he is worried about his business as well. Ultimately, you need cash to pay the bill. We still got to pay our utility bills for pumping water. We got to pay the chemical suppliers. People come to work here. I got to pay them. Um, Nothing's free. Reporting in Elmira, Kevin Gefeller, 18 News.